gentlemen, I urge you all to please switch off your phones. For today, we will take you all back to a place you all have known. On this day, we, the young people, will be setting all the rules and taking you, aging folks, back to the days of school. Now, we have heard the tall tales, the anecdotes ha, ha, ha. from dead stories that begin with saying, when I was left. Yeah, we have heard of what you have done. We heard it all before. Because you told us 50 times and even 50, 50 more. But this isn't about you, you or any of you in fact. It's about us having a time to wish you all right back. So, through all your inhibitions, we are all actors tonight. First day of school and you see a school doors on the side. So imagine. Young, vibrant and full of childish sparks, waiting for a bell to ring, a day to start. The nerves, the anxious eyes, the butterflies inside. A bell will ring, a day will start. Who knows, knows what, what you may find? <laughs> welcome! I would like to welcome everyone back for this new school year. The new term, to me, signals the start of something fresh, when all your past years are brushed aside and a new term arises like a new summer or summer's day. I want you to be all you can be. I want you to raise the personal bar a little bit more. That means spending more time on something you are never good at or excelling at your passion if you have one. It's a fresh start, a chance to turn over that horrible leaf, a chance to make changes if you can, to be closer to the person you should want to be. First lesson, history. Mrs. Harris and us, the American West, Native Americans, the gold mine rush, the start of the term, the opening of mines. We wait for the teacher, the executioner of a time. But you are fortunate, because this teacher is past the norm. She lives and breathes history from the dusk to the rising dawn. She is part of a elite who can send the mind free, who will earn her place forevermore inside our memories. This is Mrs. Harris, she is pretty chill. Yeah, Mrs. Harris is proper safe. Last year, yeah, my sister Annie was in a drama studio, yeah, and she was long and sick out of the window, yeah, and then Mrs. Harris came in right. Oh my days, I heard about that. So Mrs. Harris comes in, yeah, and she shuts at her and says she will probably expel or something, but then she goes outside and a Clara, yeah, no Clara with the hunchback. Who oh, seen that, yeah? Yeah, well, she said she was laughing as she came out. She said she just acts angry because she has to. Well, she smokes. Yeah, I saw her in her town with a boyfriend, like proper about this guy, yeah? Oh, I have seen him. And she was smoking a sick. And when I said, hey, she threw it away. Like, look proper guilty, though. Sick? Yeah, she is alright, like always nice to me. She's one of those teachers that gets on with us. Yeah, she's young enough to not be bitter, but old enough to teach. <coughs> Oh, she's coming. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Settle down now. Come on, settle down. Settle down. <coughs> How was everyone's holiday? Good. It's a start of new term, a fresh start for many of you, but we have even fresh start for some of you because some of you are new. What I want you to do is stand up and tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe three facts about yourself. Would you like to start? I don't want to start. Oh, just get it over, just start. Hi, my name is Ralph and I like football. And? That's it. Okay, who's next? You may be, you perhaps, come on, just a couple words about 
about who you are and three things about yourself. Today we are going to be beginning our module on the great American West. So what do we know about the American West then? You? That's correct. This term will look in detail at the cowboys on the great American West. The Native Americans, or as they sometimes call the First Nations, lived there successfully long before the arrivals of the Europeans. One American explorer, Major Stephen Long, declared, I do not hesitate in giving the opinion that is almost wholly unfit for cultivation and, of course, wilderness. Mrs. Harris is a great teacher to have. Some teachers can get our attention like for five minutes, maybe even 15. Think back, how many teachers did you have like that? Look at the passion in their eyes, the willingness to push, to question, to ignite this aerodyne fire. It's a magical power, an art form of forgotten, to inspire like really inspire, to move minds to such an extent that they are living in that era, tasting those roots and fighting those battles. So, we are interested in what has happened to the Native Americans and what effect it has had on the American culture. How many of you ever played cowboys and Indians? No one misses, no one plays that these days. Yes, but you have seen it on films, haven't you? The cowboys rounding up the herd, the glint in their eyes, the leather boots and slanted hands. And you have probably seen the Native Americans in films. The stereotypes, the generalizations, you have seen them all. A good history teacher is in magic all the time. Her classroom is a time machine and every day she transports us. She gives us all she has to take us back. Back to a time when life was different. Mrs. Harris is one of those teachers, but we'll probably never tell her and she'll probably never know.